Oh yeah. So in in answer to the question, would come back? Do you want to come back and check it with me? Yeah, I'll definitely do that. So no matter what direction you go in, um, and use this next week to kind of go right. I'm going to focus on that particular interesting idea behind what we did, um, whether it's like well-being and the use of physical activity, um, uh, or well-being and identities and go with that do some research and it, that your research might take you off in a different direction and you might come back and say hey look i actually found this really interesting reading about this is that appropriate could i could i base my creative piece around this or yeah. is there enough to base like my um critical essay around this as well and that's what the mm -hmm. tutorials are for next week so feel free to email me in between now and then but by next week, definitely have your idea and, and maybe one or two readings that you think are really interesting to come back and I'll, I'll check it with you. It's likely that I'll say, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's really interesting and give you some tips. But it might be that you just go, oh, I, I might say, um, there are some things that are just out of dated so just be careful that the theories or ideas that you're using aren't too old because some things have just been pretty much disproven sometimes people use old school behaviorist um, theories for game-based learning this idea of like um, uh, response and reward whereas that's a bit old-fashioned so i'll probably steer you away from those kind of theories if you if you if you kind of start to go down that line if that helps Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, could I ask you guys what were some of the keywords that that you were coming up with in your um, when you just did that breakout activity? We had um, TIE. Theatre and education. Yeah. Um, cognitive thinking. Cognitive thinking. Okay. Um. Oh, I knew I should have written them down. Uh, oh, game design. Just, we did we do much game design? I th so I think game design is interesting because you guys were designing games, but if you were to use that as a keyword, I think you'd come up with lots of stuff around making computer games. Do you know what I mean? So I was thinking maybe what if you were to search for the kind of stuff that we're doing, like would it be adapting non-digital games, something like that? Yeah, that's you, a really good one. Because you were designing games, but I think game design would send you down the wrong path. So it's this kind of a, this adapt, yeah, adapting, yeah, non-digital, yeah. Look at non-digital games. There's lots of stuff out there on that for sure. Might be interesting stuff on like using card games, um, and then all, also the themes that you had were were well-being, um, ecosystems, ecosystems in in uh, all the life on land and life in the water were kind of yeah, like yeah they talked about that yeah and i guess there was the reflection game as well so this idea of, yeah yeah i mentioned that reflection activity that's yeah. what i said right. the game. playful learning is another good keyword got that yeah, 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 for sure. Um, game based learning is is interesting because, and I think here you you could come across an interesting debate, which would be um, sometimes when people talk about game based learning, it is very much almost like people use this example of mass maths blaster, where you're playing like a little uh, game on the computer. And then you have to answer like a maths question to get to the next bit. And that's very much what we weren't doing. We, we weren't doing this kind of chocolate covered broccoli idea where the game's very separate from the, the learning. What we were doing is, is it's the actual game itself that's got value. 
So it's the kind of breaking down barriers, creating a sense of communication and connection with other people in the room. I did some reading on um, game based learning for when I was in uni, and it was mainly like talking about um, stimulation and like, like the children, whoever, to start thinking um, depending on what they're learning. Yeah, sometimes you can, you've got this game based learning, and it's linked with gamification, which is all about, yeah, rewards, points. Um, and I don't think that we were doing that. So, but what you could do is you could use it as a contrast. You could say many people might think of uh, games based learning in this way, and you and then you can use, and this is probably more for like your um, cr um, create um, reflective, sorry, critical piece than a, than a creative piece. But you could use it as a counterpoint. But we could say we, we actually use games in a much more playful and connecting uh, way than in a, a kind of gamification way. So just be just be a little bit careful if you if you kind of to make sure that the kind of readings that you have around game based learning are are really linked to the uh, the, the the spirit of, of what you were doing. Or if they're not, just explore how they're different. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think we can we can kind of start to wrap this up. Uh, in terms of getting in contact for tutorials, it'd be the same time next week. But I think it's good to kind of do it in like um, like twos or ones or twos or threes if if it works. So talk amongst you, and I'll, I'll send out a bit of a a, a timetable through email, uh, and then if we get you guys booking in for like say 15 minute sessions in different groups, then we'll, we'll do it in that way. And you can talk about the ideas that you've gone and researched and I can check in with you. Um, and then after next week, I'll also be available for like um, uh, follow on tutorials as well, just as you start to kind of put together your work. And if you if you wanna do uh, more more tutorials after next week, I can do that as well. So. We've still got time to, to run things by me. Uh, any questions at, at this this point? No. Okay, and I just want to kind of um, I get just I'll, I'll share the screen again just to kind of re recap with you where the support materials are. Does, does this feel clearer? Do you feel a bit happier? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is this is where they are. Kind of, um, they're pretty they're pretty good actually. So um, if you if you scroll down past um, these learning matrices, which is how we mark you, to kind of these um, ones here on, and this is like how to put together your uh, work. So if you're doing fifteen credits, it's the creative piece. There's video there. There's also a written transcript. If you're doing 30 credits, it's the creative essay, uh, the um, critical essay as well. That's guidance for it. Uh, there's also this lecture, which is Juliet giving like a half hour overview, uh, similar to this, but going into a bit more, more detail. And there's a Q&A here as well. Um, and it answers some of the questions like, do I have to write it as if we, we actually did it? Um, so definitely check those out. Um, over the next day or so. And um, if there's anything that you think isn't answered, just email me and I'll, and I'll follow that up. Okay, so anything else? Well, I would like to say it's been a total pleasure and I'm really sad we didn't actually get to do it because I think we had some brilliant ideas that I think would have been great in that space. I do too. I think it would have been amazing. So I'm sad about that too. Um, you know, if you ever want to try them out, one day Zedark will be open again. <laughs> I don't know when. Um, and then we were going to end on reasons to be cheerful. Yeah, I'm just going to stop the recording now. Because um, okay. I just did a little bit of recording for the people who weren't here. So, apologise 
uh, I apologise for people who didn't make it into this room. Um, I didn't know there was a limit on participants, so sorry about that.